and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carly Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we are going to fight this guy who's going to race us to the bottom of this place and go uh, try and turn that tree into a giant weapon. As you do, whatever. Uh, if you recall, last episode, we had quite the fight uh, with him. Our strategy worked perfectly. Xerxen took out his mind foo and Xylia wrecked the rest of his Pokemon um, in commanding fashion. Uh, his Gyarados did try and launch an earthquake that did hit Xylia. We could probably predict that this episode and go for uh, like a Tarth switch and then a switch to Xylia from there just to like bait him out in some way. Uh, that'd be good. So, might try that, otherwise. Uh, I don't give Tarth something to do. Something we all want, right? Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. So, uh, that's the plan, anyway. That's what I'm gonna do. Once we get down there. In the meantime, we've got a bunch of just double battles that we've got to do, I think. Because I think Wine Gums is going to come hang out with us for most of the episode. Uh, yeah. And do a bunch of double fights. So, to that end, what I'm going to do is put Xylia at the front of the lineup here. So that she can continue to hopefully get a few more levels and uh, be prepared for the final fight with Lysander. And uh, I think she enjoyed the fight with Xerxen yesterday uh, or earlier in the last episode. I recorded it yesterday. So there's that. Uh, and it's it seems to me pretty undisputed that somehow our new little Xerxen has like um, unwittingly assumed... Or whether, whether she wants it or not, is being looked up to the most as sort of the team leader. I mean, it's no surprise. She's just been wrecking everyone and uh, has quickly risen to the top level on the team. Cracked 50 and 51. Uh, yeah, all over the place. So, not surprised. But uh, it's, 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 it's a welcome. It's welcome. We've, we've been missing some leadership and now it's there. So, uh, Xylia... Got the big fight in with her. Oh, here comes Wine Gums. All right, ready for some double battles. Let's do some double battles. <sighs> I'm afraid we're going to have to ask you to turn back. The legendary Pokemon is at the end of this chamber after all. Why did you tell them that? Who would even do something like that? I agree, you guys are stupid. Jeebs. Team Flair Admin and Team Flair Grunt. Boy, they've got some interesting ways of dressing. That's for sure. Zalia and meow. oh 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 she's I forget she has the Goyrin. Um, okay, so we can't surf quite yet because that toxic croak will just water absorb probably. So which is sort of a bummer because I would have liked to do that because uh, we can hit both of them. But in the meantime, we'll just body slam the toxic croak, or maybe we should just ice beam it since that's more of our. Uh, Oh, you're trying to sucker punch? Oh, you sucker punched Meowstic. That was pretty effective. Oh, but you're going so down. Oh, that was amazing. Wow, she's trained her Meowstic quite well. <clears throat> oh, but it goes down just like that. <coughs> Boy, I think the game plans that. Gosh, they just hit her. Like, certainly they know what's going to happen. Chestnut. Oh, gosh. Boy, Wine Gums has some serious uh, guns in her side of things there. Let's just body slam this Lipard and be done with it. Oh, I see. You want to hit the Rocky Helmet. Well, that was stupid, but body slam in your face. I think we're going to get to level 49. Kablam, Kabow. Yeah. Zalia. Flying up them ranks. That makes... Her, the second strongest Pokemon on the team at the moment. Somehow, Chloeo has been dethroned, not dethroned or anything, just uh, outdone. Do you heal stuff? Is that a thing? Am I healed again now? No, I'm not. Okay. Some, but somehow, the other friend healed stuff and you, you're not doing that. But I bet you healed your Meowstic. That's what I bet. 
What'd you say? Hold on. You get what Lysander's trying to say? Do you? I don't. I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense. Even if things are just as we heard, I can't believe they're sending smart guys like us to run off some little retarder that wandered in. We won't lose. You won't get one step further. The train us moving on to the next level will be Team Flair. Uh, I already beat your boss. Like, you're aware of that? I don't... Uh... Oh, the Manectric. I see how it is. I see how it is. Mm. So now we're going to have to switch out because I don't want... Um... Xyla to be hit by any thunderbolts and of course maybe we should switch out let's see I would normally just switch straight into Zerks in here but I guess we could let's go Fatterhorn and get him he has Bulldoze as well and that'll give Fatterhorn some extra experience as well always good to have a, an extra oh he's totally gonna level up now that's good Thunderfang yeah thanks for healing your own Pokemon but not mine wine gums jeez Taking that psychic, hitting who with the scary face? Oh. <laughs> Apparently they just both decide hitting Meowstic on the opening move is the thing to do. No, no, I'm sorry. We hit me a thunder thing. Thund thunder thing. I can talk. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Bulldoze. Oh, it hits all of them. Oh, well. Apparently you're going to get healed anyway, and then you'll bring out Chestnut. So it's not like a huge problem. Oh, you hit your own side too. That's interesting. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. If you just want to hold out on sending... Oh, look at this. Now I didn't hit them. <laughs> That's hilarious. Speed drops on both? Yay. Ah, uh, yes. Well done, Fatterhorn. That's exactly how I planned it. Yeah, I wasn't going to hit my own side. Oh, and you have Vaporeon. Why would you send that out instead of Chestnut, though? Because they have, they have the... Okay, it doesn't matter. They're dead anyway, but... And you're just going to kill your own Mightyena, first of all. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you crit Fatterhorn? But we leveled up. But bam. I thought perhaps it did more damage than I would have uh, otherwise suspected. Oh, Muddy Water. If you hit me... Okay. I'm going to get real mad. I can hit you. You can't hit me. That's how this friendship works. Your Pokemon are disposable, because apparently they can be healed. I just saw your Meowster come back to life. Mine can't do that. They died, they did. That would be uh, a real problem if, for some reason, your, like, friend had just no <laughs> respect for keeping your Pokemon alive. Like, they were just like, EXPLOSION! SELF-DESTRUCT! Like, everything they did was the hindrance to you. That'd be a funny little twist they could do in, like, a, a future game or something. <laughs> like, they're like, whoops, <laughs> I keep using it. I can't, I'm sorry if I knocked your Pokemon out. I don't really know what I'm doing. Big J, Serena. Oh, it's you. Hi, are you going to heal our Pokemon? But, but friends should stick together. I'm the one who should be apologizing. You came all the way out here. I wasn't very considerate of your feelings. You are right. Friends should... <laughs> I'm so... What? What is happening here? I'm sorry I'm saving the world. I didn't consider how it would make you feel not to include you. Should we should all... Uh, of course. Yeah. You have potions? All right. All right. Can we go? Some of us are fighting bad guys and, like, trying to do a thing here. Oh, hi, there's more. Our plans haven't succeeded just yet. We cannot afford any chaos mistakes. Who's got that flair? Team Flair. Yeah, we got that flair. Team Flair. None of them had fire Pokemon yet, you know, for, you know, fire-themed name and all the orange. You'd think more of them would have. Ah, here we go. But he's got the freaking Scrafty. Ugh, so frustrating. The question is, do we go for the surf or the switch because the surf will pretty much take out the hound doom but i guess it's dangerous that he could hit us with some big fighting move mm, i don't like that uh, personally i don't like the idea that we could get hit with something so big we could just switch to zerks in i feel like i'm just gonna go for the surf i feel like we can i feel like we got it 
Maybe, oh, you should have faked out the other one. Oh, okay. Went for the speed drop on Xylia. Okay, so... She can't use Psychic on Scrafty. But we can definitely knock out the Houndoom with a good surfing here. Let's go ahead and do that again. Oh, please hit. Oh, it hits both of them. Wonderful. Didn't do much. Who's that hitting? Okay, they're focusing on the Meow Stick, which I think means we're going to get to surf on them. Oh, Crunch. Okay, so he didn't go with the fighting type move, so we're probably okay. I mean, if Crunch knocked me out from full health, that would have been outrageous. Rocky Helmet damage might have ultimately doomed them. Yes! Ah! Way to go, Xylia. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! We flying through them levels. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're so great. Yeah, we're the best double battles. Double battles. Boy, that was a great example of me deciding to be a little risky, I think. And not necessarily a 100% necessary way. Could she have healed me? What's her butt back there? Marshmallows. Anyway, we have to hurry and stop it. Yeah, I know. I know, we got stopped down by that other rando. Oh, hi. There you are. It's an electric lock. What should we do? This might help. It's a device that helps you when you're stuck on a puzzle. Clipmont gave it to me. An electronic lock and a puzzle are the same sort of thing, right? Why would you have that? Ta-da! The lock opened. Oh, and the device actually broke. <laughs> uh, that was just a random thing. Does she have a Gotharita t-shirt on? Is that what's happening here? The legendary Pokemon's inside. Let's go help it. Okay. All right. Well, I think our strategy has to just... Oh, we do need to switch Zerks in back up to the front here just for the start of this fight so we can get rid of the stupid mind fool um we'll just give it the old poison jab baru if he brings in gyarados we'll switch into tarth tarth will uh, dodge the earthquake then we'll switch into xylia xylia will wreck the rest of the team and that's how things are going to go right sound good he's also going to mega evolve the gyarados that's the other problem which means that it's going to turn into a dragon type but that's okay too because we can just ice beam it and well it'll be like mm. i'm trying to think so i don't know if it keeps the flying type or the water type when it evolves i feel like water which means Dragon will resist Thunderbolt, but Water will take it, so it just be neutral damage. And then the same for Ice Beam, where Water will resist, but Dragon will take the extra damage. So um, the answer is, won't be able to do much damage to us, which is the important part. So there we go. Um, if we can Thunderbolt it, if we can paralyze it in some way, that'll be the key. Um, yeah. All right. Let's do this. Ain't got nothing, dude. I don't see how he got down here before us. Like, did he have a secret, secret elevator? Or is he just going to come in behind us? Hold on, I found some potions. We're in the deepest part of the headquarters. It's somehow hard to breathe in here. Is that thing that looks like a tree? The legendary Pokemon? The legendary Pokemon? It doesn't look like it's alive, but... <laughs> oh, where did they come from? You can't just fade into existence. That's none of your business, kids. The ultimate weapon has taken 99% of the legendary Pokemon's energy. But just to make double sure nothing goes wrong, let's take these runs out. No! I can fly! Oh, okay. Oh, I have to fight all these guys now? Really? Or do I... Doesn't... Oh, man, come on. Uh, or is this going to be like one fight? Team Flare Admin. Or do I have like four fights in a row here? That would seem a little silly. <laughs> Whatever. Four fights in a row plus then Lysander. Alright, well, whatever. I think Xerxen's got this fight. No probs. Give him the old poison jabberoo. Oh, and poison. Yeah, now what? 
Your Night Slash is laughable, Lipard. Embarrassing. That's what you are. You're embarrassing. Are you going to use a potion? Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> the game was doing that little stall where it was thinking about something. I was like, that'd be so random if suddenly these trainers had potions. Yeah. My neck trick. Yep, yep. Sure, 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 sure. But have you heard of the Bulldoze? They've all got the same Pokemon. Which is uh, nice because you can just keep using the same things on them. Oh, Odor Sleuth. Wow. I didn't realize you were a really good trainer. And boy, Odor Sleuthing at the moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's fine by me. If you want to give Xerxes more free XP, I'm like, I'm all for it. But. Or is that going to have counted as all four battles? And they're going to be like, oh, whoops. Well, if that's how you want to play it, I think uh, Xylee was pretty close to leveling up herself. So I'm going to put her back in the front here. And we'll just go talk to one of you guys. Hi! There was one over to see the legendary Pokemon's power. I like how they couldn't have just put these guys outside in a, like four more fights before you got to the door. They just had to like fade into existence somehow post door. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. Uh, I feel like the definite way to fight this thing is via bulldoze. Everything else is going to be pretty slow against it, so we're just going to bring in Zerks in here. It just has really high um, special defenses there, which <clears throat> are going to take a while to get through. But not if we come in and crunch. Or actually, not even crunch, just uh, bulldoze this thing. Boom! Of course, he's got a little extra defense now because he's stockpiling, but... Oh, no, not spit up. Look at all of the damage. Oh, this is so god. Bulldoze! And the speed's down. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. He's got so much freaking health. So slow now, though. Oh, he's going to heal. But you'll lose... all your defenses, which makes this next hit that much stronger. I feel like I should have swords danced almost against this thing. Oh my gosh, so frustrating. But either way, what can it possibly do? Stockpile again? Yeah. You have no health left. You're just going to get destroyed. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there you go. Game, set, match. Zerks into 52. Kablam! Mm hmm. There we go. That's what's up. Oh, oh no. Flying through these guys now. All right. We should go ahead and heal Zerks because she took. Not no damage in that fight. The spit up actually did more than I would have imagined, or <laughs> more than I would have guessed. Hi, hi, can I fight you? Taking all the money and stuff for ourselves would make the world where team players happy. You're not gonna have anywhere to spend it because you're going to have killed everybody, right? What is what good is money gonna do? Who thought about that? Anyway. Let's just go ahead and surf. Yeah. Scary face. All right. I guess that works uh, for you. It's not going to matter unless you knock me out. Oh. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring it on. If you say so, man. You're going down. But, uh, surf. You did. So I gained 1480. Boom. Second Pokemon, 50. What up? Sheer cold. Is this like the one hit kill move? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, that's really fun. Um, we're not going to do it, but it is fun. Uh, yeah, no. Keep old moves. 
yes 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 <laughs> we can't be risking that kind of inaccuracy although could you imagine if we like <laughs> just had a, a situation where that was like our last ditch effort and we hit something with sheer cold that would be fun hmm oh the rocky helmet <laughs> i was like what's this little extra pause for duh i always forget about xylia and her i always forget about the signature rocky helmet are you trying to stop Team Flair from obtaining happiness? Why would you do that? Alright, one more. If you guys think we'll just let you join Team Flair after this, you've got another thing coming. Okay. Not really interested in that. Looks like you guys have a very unusual wardrobe that despite uh, being individualistic looking, I've noticed the same outfit on quite a few of you, so... Yeah. Uh, but Ice Beam? Acrobatics. Always a move that I feel like does so much more damage than it has any right to do. I'm not sure what the rules of that attack are. Boom! Ice Beam. Way to go. Oh, you only had the one. You had a goal bat? You thought you were going to beat my whole team with a goal bat. Now, before anything happens, I want to make sure Xyla gets a chance to heal. Yeah, gonna say, gonna say, because we are damaged a wee bit there. There we go. All right, everyone else is good? Everyone else is good. All right, time for the big fight. First, we got to move Xerxen to the front. Here we go. Ah! Who's that? Could it be? Oh boy. Yeah. Who's it gonna be? Lysander? Or is that the Pokemon itself? Do we get to use the Pokemon? Do I get to fight? Xerneas before? Lysander, so I can use Xerneas against Lysander? That'd be pretty cool. I'd be all about that. Yes, there it is! What? Ba boom! Very good. Very cool. Do -do -do -do. Aw, man. What's up? Oh boy, Xerneas appeared. Go Xerxen. Fairy aura. I don't know what that does. Uh, but I can tell you that this is going to be a real short fight because what we're going to do is I don't want to risk anyone's health on this. So we're just going to master ball this dude straight up. If there are other legendaries we want to go for, we're going to have to go the old ultra ball route. Boom. There it is. Just like that. Xerneas was caught. Da -da 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 -da. Yay. We win. Now we need a nickname. It slept for a thousand years in the form of a tree. Davin, welcome. I thought it's pretty close to that. That's pretty, pretty epic. Davin, welcome to the team. Davin, 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 Davin. Yeah. All right. There we go. Okay. Uh, for a second, I thought we had a shiny Xerneas. Um, Yes, uh, but no, we do not. It is because the blue antlers are like, don't they have like yellow antlers? That would have been insane. Uh, no, there's like passive mode and like active mode or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to take Tarth off the team here. Sorry. Xerneas was added to your party. All right. What a relief. Now they can't use the ultimate weapon. You're amazing, Big J. Legendary Pokemon to be your friend like that. It's unbelievable. What a startling development. I never would have thought you were the chosen one. Huh? Huh? Hey. Oh, what's up, bro? 
what's with your weird little uh, flying fly? This is the mighty Xerneas. I expect more from a Pokemon called a legend. You desire help from people. You need a human for help. <laughs> what's going on with that outfit? <laughs> I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Big J already beat you. What are you doing here? For me, victory is using the Ultimate Weapon. Order to do that, I need to reclaim the legendary Pokemon's power and send to the weapon once again. I'll be taking that legendary Pokemon back now. This time I won't lose. I too shall use the Mega Ring and Mega Stone that you researched during your travels. Uh huh. That's cool. That's cool. Team Flare Boss Lysander. But what's with the weird floating camera things? Minchow. Mm hmm. Oh! Apparently it's my leader. Cool. Ah, yes. Look, there's the golden antlers. Fun. Fairy aura. Don't know what that does. Let's take a quick look. Haven't even had a chance to uh, examine you yet there, Davin. Summary. Yeah, let's go to that. Do, yeah. Oh, very good stats. Powers up each Pokemon's fairy type moves. Very cool. Yep. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Um, and check moves. What do we got here? Geomancy, grab. What does gravity do? Gravity is intensified for five turns, making moves involving flying usable. Okay. The user absorbs energy and sharply raises its special attack, special defense, and speed stats on the next turn. Oh, so it's like a two move sort of situation. Borrowing the power of the moon, the user attacks the target. This may also lower the target's special attack stat. Using its tough, impressive horn, the user rams into the target with no let up. Hmm. Oh, Mega Horn. Fun. So, I guess should, we could try Geomancy, I guess. It'll take two turns, but then we're basically unstoppable, right? That's sort of what I'm hearing, possibly. I and think we resist fighting type moves anyway, so... Mm-hmm. Plus, we've got... I don't know. We've already got the fairy aura thing going. Shouldn't be... You'd think either way, we're pretty much set, right? What did it do? Gosh, it raised, like, a bunch of freaking stats. Check moves. Special attack, special defense, and speed stats. So, okay. We're just gonna go for the moon blast. Nope, oh, sorry. There we go. Fight! Moon blast... Acrobatics. Uh huh. Very good for you. Very good. Mm hmm. But Moonblast? Yeah, that's what I thought. Get down. Shwoop. Yeah, David. Arch grow. Also, not too worried. Also, feel. Oh, we could totally gravity this thing and bring it to the ground. Not that it really matters. Um, Moonblast? Can we just moonblast this whole team? Is that basically how it goes? Oh, maybe it is. Oh, got the crit! Yes, Davin. Mm-hmm. Pyroar! It's too nervous to eat berries. Yeah, you should be nervous. Because I'm just going to sit here and keep spamming moonblast. Oh, that did some damage, though. Not going to lie. Did some damage. And that did not do some damage. Okay, so we found a situation in which perhaps it would be smarter to switch. So we're going to switch it into Big X here. Good job, David. You've done, you've done well. You've done well. Took out the first two, no problem. Fire Blast, uh-huh. See how that does. Not that much, not that much. Even if he hits us again. The accuracy on this Pyroar's Fire Blast, that's like his eighth in a row, I think he's hit. Kabam! Power Roar down! Mm-hmm. Now, of course, the problem is that we've got... Yeah, that. Um, but we can go ahead and heal up. So let's do that. Because we have taken some damage. Use the Moo Moo Milk. Responding to the Mega Ring. Uh oh, here we go. So, not great. I don't know what Mold Breaker is supposed to do. Outrage, yeah. 
Great. Xylia, you got this. <gasps> okay, so now... Oh, that's hilarious that he did that, first of all. Now what we're going to do is switch into Dave in here because uh, he's stuck using Outrage. And that'll give us a turn also to heal Daven, and Daven won't be um, affected by this at all. So, yeah. Doesn't affect. <laughs> and you're confused, so well done. Meanwhile, over here, we're also just going to take a quick turn to heal you, because boy would it be embarrassing to immediately lose our legendary Pokemon. That would be totally the worst. Hit yourself. Do it. Oh, amazing. Well done. Well done, you. Uh, and then on our side of things, what well, we're going to... I guess we could Megahorn, because I think it's it's picked up the dark typing. Let's see how that goes. Boom. Ah, oh, just... Uh, please hit yourself for the end. <laughs> please hit yourself for the end. That'd be amazing. Oh, it didn't. Uh, oh, my gosh. That did way too much damage. Um, that being said, we're faster. We're just going to... Oh, but... We're going to Moon Blast because this doesn't have 100% accuracy. We're going to Moon Blast. It's going to die. And uh, that'll be the end of the fight. Yeah. Okay. Man, I, if I had Mega Horned that and missed and then he hit me and killed my legendary Pokemon, I would have been so bad. Ah, that's the end of the fight. We win. Hooray. Boom. Yeah, just like that. See ya, it's over. Fools with no vision will continue to befoul this beautiful world, he says, as he throws down his goggles that give him vision. They will go on to blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, great pose. Mwah! Oh, thank you for also paying up the 10,000 we agreed on before that battle. I know the stake of the world was in play, but, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Can't use the other weapon anymore, right? You don't have to worry about the future all by yourself. I think everyone should work together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great. Cool. Uh-huh. Let us live forever. That's right. I shall grant you eternal life. I'll give you the pain of endlessly waiting for a beautiful world to finally be built. Let's get out of here. Do we have to watch some whole cutscene now? Oh, gosh. We do. All right. How is he activating the weapon still? I thought we stopped that from happening. Oh, there it goes. Pretty sure this is not doable, given the what I was told about the ultimate weapon. But there it is. And then it's coming back down. Oh, no. Kablamph. That looks painful. That is quite the explosion for a Pokemon game. They are not messing around. Although those log cabins made of wood still seem okay. Big crater. I like how they just tipped over. That's how houses work. Hmm. -hmm. Phew. I'm so glad you're all safe. I really respect the courage and kindness you all showed. Thank you. Are you guys okay? Tierno? Yep, as you can see, we're doing great. Thanks for asking. Mm-hmm. Don't care what you two have to say. You're so boring. <laughs> all right, just back to our adventure. See ya. Guess we saved the world. No need for any celebration or anything. I'd like to go celebrate. You guys want some cake? That'd be great. All right. Oh, gosh, this guy again. Oh, hi. A long, long time ago, a very long time ago. A man made an ultimate weapon using it required the life force of many Pokemon. The Pokemon granted eternal life learned his. The resurrected eternal Pokemon left the man's side. The man was surprised and sad. He had revived it so they could be together. Day after day passed, but they were never to meet. Eventually became a mere shell of a man. A man condemned to wander forever by the light of the weapon. Yeah, we know it's you, dude. Where is it now? What do I have to do to meet it? Well, that guy's like obsessed with his little flabebe. All right. Well, anyway, guys, thanks so much for uh, watching today's episode. We caught a legendary. Yay, David. Welcome to the team. In the next episode, we are hopefully going to find the eighth gym and just wreck it. 
and uh, then we can finally take on the Pokemon League. Hooray! Uh, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke episodes from Ross. We're so close to the end now! It's gonna be awesome. Uh, thanks for sticking with me this whole series. It's been a lot of fun. I'm enjoying making it and, quite a uh, bit. I'll see you next time.